from Angie Jean Chic. I wanted to film a video today in front of the camera because I haven't done this in a while because I've been so focused on the 31 days of YouTube and then I took like a week break because I was working on stuff at the office and my lighting totally changed so now I'm having to film at a different time. You know, YouTuber problems, right? So I wanted to film a video today that actually was pretty requested by you guys and by pretty requested I mean I got questions on Facebook and in my email and I got a tweet so I knew this was something that you guys wanted to see. If you are not interested in business related videos that's fine I will still have a makeup tutorial this week, another craft tutorial, a organization video and I have a fourth one. Oh it's already up! which was my DIY planner sleeve protector which I posted on Monday so I'll include a link to the video below so you guys can check it out but I did post this because my charm planner um, I throw my, my planner in my bag because that's something I'll actually talk about in this video so I wanted to have like a protector sleeve for it and I made this one it is no sew which I like to sew but if I can do something no sew that's the way it's, that's the way to go right <laughs> But if you don't like business videos, that's cool. I understand. You can still give this video a like because some other people do. But I will be back tomorrow with another video. So I wanted to share my summer business favorites. And I was going to do this on a monthly basis. But I was like, no, I wanted to do it kind of like on the season since we're now into fall. Almost. So it's still supposed to be 90 degrees here in New Mexico, which I guess that could be fall here in New Mexico, right? <laughs> but I wanted to share with you guys my business favorites because for those of you who don't know I decided to launch a video media coaching business and it's still in the works I'm still launching so you're not gonna see anything like online about it yet but it's going to be really cool and really fun I'm still just working out like I'm setting up the page I'm setting up in um, some of the content for it so it's it's been a lot of work but that's something I've been working on so yeah, I have kind of gotten a little bit more into this business thing than what I thought I was going to do during the summer. But I wanted to share with you guys the things that made it easier for me when I was getting started. The first thing that has been irreplaceable in my life <laughs> this summer has been my iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I'm not saying you have to get a 6 Plus. I'm just saying I love my iPhone. My iPhone is like my baby. I did get the gold um, one. It's like the 128 gig phone. It's the big one. The reason why this has been indispensable to me during the summer is I've been doing some vlogging and I film all my videos on this camera, or on this phone. The quality's good, it stores the videos, I can import them, export, or I can export them to iMovie and Final Cut, Easy Breezy, Lemon Squeezy. It's been awesome. Also, this phone allows me to watch my second favorite, or listen to my second favorite, which is podcasts. I have a full-time job. And I drive about an hour one way and then about an hour home. So I have two hours of my day where I'm, I'm forced to drive, right? So while I love music, music's a huge part of my life, Johnny Cash, but I also listen to podcasts a lot. So I wrote down a list of four of my favorite podcasts that came to my mind when I was thinking about them. So what I do is I just plug my phone in to my, my car and my car plays the podcast for me. My car knows what I like. <laughs> but I listen to The Fearless Launching Show with Anne Samoyloff, which is one of my favorites. I'll include the link to these podcasts down below so you guys can check them out also. But I love Anne Samoyloff's Fearless... Oh, I got sneeze. Now that the sneezing fit is over, let's continue. Power through. Power through. Anne Samoyloff's Fearless Launching Podcast. I, oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Ugh. Are we done sneezing now? I think so. My allergies are so bad. I'm like heavily medicated, you guys. <laughs> Let's try this for the third time. Every time I say, and every time I say your name, I sneeze. Isn't that like a saying, like, if you say somebody's name and you sneeze or thinking about you? Are you thinking about me, Anne? <laughs> But Anne Samoyloff's Fearless Launching Podcast is an amazing podcast. What I love about Anne's podcast is, while it is business related, those of you who don't know Anne Samoyloff, check her out, by the way. She is, she's kind of like my, she's my, she's the launching boss. 
the launching boss. And um, last night on the Charmed Biz hangout I did with Alexis, she, <laughs> there's this girl walking like five dogs. But on the Charmed Biz hangout I did with Alexis last night, um, we almost had hashtag I want to be like Anne growing up trending on Twitter. <laughs> but you guys, check out Anne Samuelos for this launching podcast. She has a wealth of information on launching business. She has guests. It's and they're not too long. I mean, I know some podcasts go like an hour, and which is great because I drive an hour, so I'm like, cool, I don't have to worry about it. But I have actually went back and listened to some of her older podcasts to kind of get caught up. I always take away something from her podcast. She's probably my, my number one favorite podcaster because I just enjoy her content, which I you know, also follow her blog and everything, so and her YouTube channel. So obviously, you know, I, I love Anne's content, but... I really like her podcast. I think it is very valuable. The second one is Coffee Break Blogging. And this one, I, I listen to as much as I can. I like some of the blogging podcasts because they, they can go to multi different le or different levels, you guys. Just because something says blogging doesn't mean you can't use it on your YouTube channel or for your business. Take the key points that you want to take from these podcasts. The third one is Elsie Gets Crafty. You know, looking at that, you would think, well, she's talking about crafts on her podcast. No, she's talking about business. And I really, really, really like her. She has a lot of really cool topics. She has a lot of guests. So I've learned quite a bit from Elsie. I just really like her podcast too. So check her out. The fourth one is Blogging Your Passion podcast, which is another one. It says blogging, but it's not just for blogging. It's very business related. Obviously, podcasts that I love are business related because I think personal development is just as important as professional development. And I like to intermix the two because I'm, I'm a nerd. But the podcast that I still listen to, still, and it's been done for like, what, we're in September, so nine months now, is Serial. I still will watch Serial, but that's not a business thing. But if you guys haven't checked out Serial, oh, be prepared to get addicted. So the next things that have been my business favorites for the summer. First off, you guys, if you're starting a business, get a planner. Get a planner. You can use a phone planner, you can use a paper planner, you can use your iPad, I don't care, just get a planner. You will need a planner. You will need a planner and you will need a notebook. Many people link up their calendar and use Evernote and everything. I think that's great. I'm a pen and paper kind of girl. I need it like that. I do use Google Docs quite a bit because it's just how my brain works. But I'm using I'm using a couple different planners. I'm using my day designer for like my daily what I need to do. <coughs> Excuse me. What I need to do, personal stuff like that. But I'm using my Charmed Life planner as my business planner. And the reason why I I've and you guys can use any planner you want. You don't have to use the planner that I'm using. I'm just telling you why I like it. And it's because I'm a list girl. I'm not a box girl. So I like the layout. Let me show you guys here. That shows you guys the layout a little bit better. Um, I am definitely a list type of girl. So how Alexis has this set out with the top three and then having the list, excuse me, and then stickers will fit in there and stuff like that if you want to decorate it. Like, you know, honestly, guys, like, look, I decorated mine, which is really funny um, because it's like it's a business planner. I was like, I just want to use it as a business planner, and then I start decorating it. So get a planner to keep yourself organized. You will thank me if you do not have a planner get a planner. I will include a link down below for the Charmed Life Planner, which is the one that I use for my business. And then I'll also include a link to the Day Designer, which I actually don't have with me. But um, so that, that way you guys can check that out too if you want something that is a daily task list. Um, the Charmed Planner is a week on two page. But here's the really cool thing is you guys know Alexis has a bunch of different printables on her shop. And this is a five size. My other favorite for the month is I have discovered how much I love the ARC system, <laughs> which is the disc system. I, you guys know I had a happy planner and I liked it. But as I've realized, I really like the disc system more than the ring system and the spiral system. So what I've been doing is I bought... The Punch at Staples. This one was $40. They do have one that's cheaper. This one you can do about 8 sheets in, 8 to 10 sheets. And I like how it has this handle. The thing, the reason why I spend the money on this is because I don't like punches that you have to like squeeze. Because I think after a while, like, my hand gets tired, y'all. 
and when my hand gets tired, I don't want to play anymore. This one, all you do is you just push it down, and it's not, not that hard. So, I mean, I could punch pages for hours, and I'd be fine. I'm not saying I want to. What I've been doing is, like, I arced my empire building books. Um, obviously, I arced my planner. And then in my planner, I also have other sections for other things. So, and it's so thick and chunky. I love it. And then I also, kind of like a sneak peek on what's going on in Mandyland, I'm creating a planner for YouTube and for Periscope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it letter size to make it easy. Because, you know, when you're doing some of this stuff, you guys need to have room. And personally, I write big, so A5 is not big enough for me, which is why I decided to do a letter. If you guys want half size, all you have to do is just print two sheets on a page, bada bing, bada boom, you got A5. But... With this, I did, uh, I'm, I'm going to have a video on how I make my ARC notebook, but basically I laminated a cover, put my rings on. This isn't full like at all, but I, what I've been doing is I've been putting, oops, that's my turn because from last night. Like this is, I'm going to give you a sneak peek here. This is one of my inserts I'm going to do for a YouTube video. I'm going to jazz it up. This is just the draft. But this is for filming like a craft tutorial. And I'm going to have some inserts and things like that. So I'm super excited about it. But I am loving, loving the arc system. I love that you can buy different size rings. I love that it's easy to punch. You can take stuff in and out. You can change out your covers. It's just like my dream system. And I love it. So I have two more things I want to talk to you about. And then I want to give you guys some tips also. The second to last thing I want to talk about is... Editing videos. This was part of 31 Days of YouTube, but I wanted to share what I used to edit my videos with, and that is iMovie and Final Cut Pro. I'm still working with Final Cut Pro. I love iMovies, you guys. Like, I love iMovie. So it's hard for me to um, not use iMovie sometimes. And uh, I just, I find it so easy to use. I just, you just cut and just, you do your thing, you add your transitions, you do, it's just so easy for me. And I love iMovie. So that is what I use and that's what I love. Final Cut Pro, I'm playing with, I'm falling in love with it too, it's just taking me a little bit longer. I also use Adobe Premiere and it's, it, there's definitely more of a learning curve there, but I am an Apple girl, so iMovie is like my favorite. Um, I've heard good things about Windows New Video Media Maker, I think is what they call it. Some people are like, has, some people like that, I don't have experience with it. So I'm, I'm like looking at my iMac now and I'm like, there's my iMovie. I love my iMovie. My iMovie's like my favorite thing. And like <laughs> iMovie's part of the reason why I started buying Apple products because I wanted to use iMovie. I'm not even kidding. So that's what I use. That's what's been a big help. And it's so easy to like just import clips and edit and export and put it on YouTube and bada bing bada boom, you're done. Something else that's super duper important is make sure you guys have quality internet because if your videos are taking an extended period of time to upload, you may want to look at your internet provider for that because when I was using Cable One, I would go to upload a video that was like 20 minutes long and it would take like four hours. I switched to CenturyLink and a 20 minute long video takes maybe, maybe max 30 minutes and that's even with me pausing it to tag and everything. So internet check your internet because I, I love CenturyLink but you know I'm sure there's some people that don't my last thing that I want to talk about is Periscope the big elephant in the room that is Periscope <laughs> I love Periscope and I was actually having a conversation with a friend this morning about how when you are on Periscope how it can be like a little um it's hard to concentrate sometimes when you're doing a live scope because comments and everything are coming about. So, but here's like some of my favorite scopers. The first one that comes to my mind, and these are the three that when they come on Periscope, if I can drop what I'm doing to watch them, I will. What I would like is for you guys to leave some links below to podcasts you like, um, scopers you like, things like that because I love checking out business scopes. Here's my thing, though, that I don't like about Periscope. There are a lot of business coaches on Periscope right now that are coming out and saying, you know, if you do this, 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 and this, you're going to make, you know, a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. You guys, when you hear claims like that, take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. 
because you still have to put in the work. Anybody can have a successful launch if you're putting in the work and if you're doing it the right way. What I don't want to happen is for you guys to see, okay, well, this scoper said if I do it this way, I'm going to make $30,000. You guys, take their tips and use them for you. Don't put a dollar amount on your launch. You can have a goal. Goals are fine. But don't put an, an X amount, dollar amount to, to reiterate that you're successful with it. Because things happen. And don't set yourself up for failure with that. But these are the three girls that I really enjoy in Periscope. The first one, and you guys know this, is Miss Trenchcoat, which I love her scopes. She's so funny. And she's so she has so much valuable information. So if you guys don't follow Alexis on Periscope, make sure you do because she gives you a wealth of information. And I think she's going to start scoping more. So The second one is Anne Samoyloff, Fearless Launching. The reason why I love Anne is, one, because she's so sweet. And two, she does um, her top threes. So on a certain days of the week, she'll do a scope talking about your top threes. Now, for those of you who don't know what a top three is, that is your top three tasks for the day. What are the top three things that you need to get done today? And while you're like, well, that would be kind of a boring scope, it's not at all. Like, it is so, by you telling somebody what your top three are, it puts it in your brain that this is what I need to get done today. It's almost like an accountability group. You know what I mean? It's like, it's really cool. And I love how she presents it because she also talks about her stuff. And the thing that I love about Alexis and Anne is they're very honest. Like, if Alexis didn't get something done, she's, she's not going to get something done. She's not going to tell you she did. Anne's the same way. And it's very, like, Periscope to me is like real life. Where YouTube can sometimes, you know, we can edit, we can set the scene, we can set the stage, things like that. Periscope is real life, y'all. So that's kind of why I really like Periscope, but that's why I love Alexis and Anne. The third one that I've been enjoy enjoying watching has been Hillary Rushford, which I'll include a link to her scopes below. She's Dean Street Society, and she did the Style and Styleability courses and Instagram with Intentions. Then she also is now doing a lot of scopes. So I really enjoy her business related scopes and I also really love her style scopes too. So she's another one that's kind of on my favorites list. Those are three of my, my, my favorite scopers that I try not to miss. And if for some reason I didn't see them pop up on my feed for that day or my phone didn't alert me, I will check their stuff to make sure they didn't post a scope and then check out the replays. So that's how you know when you really enjoy someone's content, when you're willing to go above and beyond the extra mile to check out their content. So the last thing I wanted to leave you guys with before I let you guys go is I get asked a lot how I get everything done because I work full time, have a household. I don't have kids, but I do have dogs, which shout out to the dog moms in the world. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't have dogs. I have bloodhounds. Bloodhounds and a little Shiba Inu that is just sassy who is actually sleeping in the, the sunbeam right now like a... She loves spending her mornings in the craft room with her mom. And when I say I work a full-time job, I work a demanding full-time job. Mentally demanding. So, but I'm still doing the business thing. I'm still doing the video media coaching. I'm still doing my blog. I'm still doing my YouTube channel. So I get asked how I get this done. And this was something I was going to include in a vlog. But I just haven't really filmed any vlogs lately. My first tip is if you have the ability, wake up an hour earlier. Waking up that hour earlier, you'd be surprised what you can get done in an hour. I hold myself accountable to that. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. There's some mornings I don't feel like getting up an hour early. And you know what? I sleep in. Don't force yourself to fit in this box. Because as soon as this business building becomes not very much fun, then your business is going to be very much fun for you. So on the mornings I feel like it, I wake up an hour earlier. Now, what do I do in that hour? I respond to comments. I do my Instagram photos. I um, will sort of upload a YouTube video if I can. I just these little things that sometimes take time. I get done in the morning. Bada bing, bada boom, done so. My second tip is I always, always, always take my planner and a notebook with me to the office. Normally, it's just my planner. Uh, you guys, I'm going to say this again. Do not use someone else's time to build your empire. But 
you get a lunch, you get breaks, use that time. Um, when I take my, I say get 15 minute breaks, when I take my two 15 minute breaks, normally, honestly, you guys, normally what I do is I just go to like the lobby and relax for 15 minutes and kind of get out of the office. But my lunches normally are spent either in my car, working on girl boss stuff, <clears throat> at my desk, working on girl boss stuff, um, in the lobby, working on girl boss stuff, or something like that, because that's how I want to spend my lunch. Like, that's what I want to do. So... That's how I kind of carve out time. You guys, it's sometimes very hard to carve out time, but you can do it. Just look at your day and be like, okay, when can I steal 15 minutes? When can I steal an hour? Can I not watch this show, like tonight's Project One Way? So if I needed to get stuff done tonight, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on my stuff and I'm going to watch Project One Way tomorrow night or tomorrow morning. Or watch it like on my phone or something before I go to bed. Carve out your time. Because you have to do that. Um, you cannot. Not having time is not an excuse to me. Because you can find the time. It may not feel like it, but trust me. If I can find the time, you guys can find the time. My other biggest tip is that if your business feels like a job and you're dreading doing it, you need to reevaluate what you're doing. You really do. Because I can film and edit videos for six hours. And I don't even realize I did it for six hours. I love what I do. So therefore, in the evening when I'm working on my girl boss stuff, I don't feel like I'm working. I'm having fun. But I also, if I don't want to work on something, as long as I'm meeting my deadlines and as long as I'm meeting my goals, if I don't want to work on something that night, I don't do it. I spend the time with, with Brett, I spend the time with my dogs, I relax, you know. It's not that I'm not treating myself, but I have to put in the work to get where I want to be. So that's my, my, my pro tip for the day. What I want to do is I want to empower you. Tell me below how you're going to carve out some time for your business, or for your blog, or for your YouTube, or, you know, how are you going to do these kind of things? Where can you sneak in? that few minutes of time so you can get something done. Leave me links below of who your favorite scopers are, who your favorite podcasters are. Tell me what kind of planner you use. I mean, what are what did you use this summer that you started using for your business that, business that you're like, oh my goodness, everybody should know about this. Why do more people know about this? Because I would like to know about it because I would like to see if I can implement it. <laughs> One last thing before I let you guys go is I do have a Video Media Enthusiast Facebook group. And on this group, it's a bunch of people that are Video Media Enthusiasts that have gotten together to be supportive, ask questions, share videos, you know, things like that. So if you are kind of in this tribe, I will include a link below to the Video Media Enthusiast Facebook group. You do have to join, so me, Taz, or Leslie will approve you to join. Share your videos, share YouTube videos. The only thing that I ask is like, if, if you have a video of a question on, you know, feel free to share it. Share your channel once so everyone can see who you are. But I want to keep it kind of not, I want to keep it not spammy. But if you guys have like a legitimate question on a video or things like that and want advice from a realm of other video media enthusiasts, feel free to leave it. Because while it's not a follow for follow group, it is a supportive group. And I want to make sure you guys are getting support when it comes to video media. So, like I said, oh, my allergies are so bad. <clears throat> but like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy some of my business stuff that I'm doing now. Because I will share it on this channel. Like I said, nothing else is changing. I'm just adding a little piece to it. So, my beauty videos, fashion videos, planner videos, DIY videos, vlogs will all be here. It's just you're getting more content from me which I'm having a lot of fun doing. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a share, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you later.